All right, guys, so in this part of the tutorial, we're going to be working on the front grille, and we're going to begin by making this lining over here, and go ahead and make the uh, the mesh in the middle. So let's get let's go over to a model right here, and let's take these two. Let me just press period to zoom into that model, and let's get onto the front view real quick. So I'm going to go into edit mode. Let me zoom into this area right here, and I'm going to take this vertex here, and also... Uh, I think I'm going to take this edge as well, not the entire edge, so let's deselect all of these. And I think it's selected all the way through. Yeah, so this is all that we need, and then we're just going to press Shift and D to duplicate it like this. And we're going to press P to separate the selection. Now what we're going to do is to join those two, so let me just take this and hide it, and then take that. Let me press Alt and H, and I'm going to press Ctrl J to join those two, and there we go. Alright, so now let me just get onto the side view real quick. And uh, I'm going to take this vertex over here and just move it in a Y axis just a bit, like that. And then I'm going to take this, let me just get to the front view real quick and let me slide this back a bit. And I'm going to take these two and press F. And uh, that should be good for now. Alright, so now what I'm going to do next is take this whole vertices here. I think we selected a few more up here. Let's delete those. Uh, yeah, so let's get onto the front view and let's take that whole mesh. Well, first of all, let me take these two. And dissolve the vertices and let's dissolve the ones on the edges as well we don't need those yet all right now I'm gonna take that whole thing and I'm just gonna press F all right and I'm gonna insert it just a little bit just to give it a tiny bit of space in the middle like that just like this and I'm gonna insert it one more time all the way to about somewhere like that that might be too much let me just insert it one more time so to somewhere like that should we get? I'm going to press X and delete the faces. Now I'm going to take the outer vertices and delete those vertices as well. Alright, very nice. So I'm just going to get to the side view now. And let's move this whole thing in the Y axis inside to about there. Should we get? And let's delete the vertices in the middle. I mean the edge in the middle. Let's take these two, move it in the X axis to merge in the center like that. Alright, so I think everything is coming out great. Uh, what are we going to do next? Let me take these four. All right, so I think I want to move those inside a bit because they're pulling out too much. So I'm just going to move to this angle right here. Let me just pull it in a bit like that. And that should be good. All right, very nice. So what I'm going to do now is to extrude this in the Y axis all the way inside the Y axis. Yeah, all the way inside to some point like that. I think should be good. And let's press X and delete the faces. All right, now I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here to add in two. And we're going to pull those ones out. We're just going to pull it out just a bit. I think that should be good enough. Yeah. And let's take the whole thing, press shift and end to recalculate the normals. And then I'm going to press control and R3 here. And then add in an extra vertex, press E. And pull it as close as we can, like that. Alright, very nice. So we can go ahead and enable the subdivision surface just to see what this looks like. So object, shade smooth, just to shade it smooth. And let's add in supporting edge loops in this area. So I'm just going to press E and then F, align with that area, pull it close enough. And I'm going to add one more in here as well. Press E and pull it close enough. And I think we need some more up here. Pull it close. And in here as well, pull it close like that. All right. Very nice. Not bad. So uh, on second thought, I think I'm going to pull this piece out a bit. Let's pull it out a bit because I think it's way too far inside so I'm just gonna pull it out just a bit like that and I think that's good yeah yeah that's very good so just pull it out a bit more just like that and I think that should be good all right now we have extra faces in here let's delete them oh let me just move these in the x-axis I think that should fix it yeah and let's delete the extra faces in the middle there as well I think we have a few more up here as well so let's delete those faces all right very nice. So that does it for that area. The next thing we're going to do is the front grill. That is the actual grill we are seeing over there. And that's going to be uh, a bit challenging depending on how you want to make it. But I'm going to keep things simple because I don't want to make it too uh, detailed like these ones are. As you can see, this is pulling out a bit. And then this bit pulls inside and then pulls out just like that all the way down. But I'm just going to keep, keep it simple. But if you want to make this one, you can go ahead and do it. If you think you can do it, just go ahead and do it. But I'm just going to keep things simple. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first off, I don't know if we use if we should use a reference image for this. So uh, let me just go to 
I'm not sure where is the reference image section normally okay so what we want to do is let's press shift in s and choose keser to world origin all right and i want to press shift in a and i want to choose images and then let's say reference i think it was reference yeah reference and we're going to take one of those images that we're using that's this one right here as reference and i want to scale it down just so it fits in that grill area just so it gives us a basic idea of how big the grill is so let me just get to the front view now and uh, let me just pull this in the y-axis all the way back i'll delete it after so what we're going to do now is to press shift and a let me just take this press ctrl and i and hide everything else nope except for that image hide everything else yeah all right so this is our piece over here we're going to work based off of that so shift and s gives it to world origin and let's add in a mesh plane or we could just yeah let's add in a mesh is it a mesh plane now i want to add in a mesh circle all right so let me go in here let me take this whole piece press shift and s just cause it to select it and we're gonna press shift and a and add in a mesh circle so i'm going to give the circles a size of six so we're just going to type in six over here like this and then let's go into edit mode of the circle pull it over here and let's scale it down okay so i'm going to press g and move it around just so we can scale it down some more and I'm just going to rotate this by 90. Uh, rotate by 90 degrees. Yeah. So now I'm just going to scale it down a bit more. Press G and move that over here. All right. So let me take these three and pull it in the X axis to about some point here. Take these three as well. Pull it out to about some point there. And I want to take these four. And let's choose. Let's change the pivoting point to median point. I'm going to scale this in the X axis a bit down to about there. All right, very nice. So uh, what we're going to do next is let me just press F and I'm going to insert it inward just to give it that amount that we need. So insert to about there should be good. And I'm going to delete the faces. All right, so that's one grill or one hole, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to take the, the whole thing and let me just move it in the x-axis to about, I don't know, let's say here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Shift and D now. And then move this in the x-axis pull it to about here uh, maybe where we want to move it is here we want to move it here instead so let me just zoom in so it's exactly on that vertex like that i think that should be good yeah all right so now we can take both of those and now we're going to press shift and d and just zoom into this area so we can see this much better so i'm just going to press shift and d and move this in the x-axis and then we're just going to have it line up on top of it like that. Make sure you do it with your first try. You just have to, what I'm trying to say is you want to do it on first try, okay? Because we're just going to go ahead and press shift in R now just to duplicate the whole process and not have to duplicate it all the way through just like that. All right. So that is looking good. If your first try didn't work out for you, go ahead and then redo it. So I think my first try didn't work out for me. So I'm just going to redo everything. All right, so once you've done that, we can do go ahead and do it vertically as well. So I'm just going to press G, shift, I mean G and then Z, and move this up in the Z axis to about a point. I think uh, there should be good. Uh, maybe let me just move it up a bit more to about. Uh, let me just pull it up. Maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, to about there. I think that should be good. All right, very nice. So we're going to duplicate it in the z-axis this time. So uh, we're going to press shift and D. I'm going to zoom in all the way in so I can see this vertex here. I'm going to press shift and D and then move it in the z-axis. It's going to take a while to move it all the way down, but just have patience and you'll get there. All right, there we go. I don't know if that's the right one. Uh, is that the right one? Let me take a look. Okay, I think it is. It is the right one. Uh, let me take a look at something real quick. Yeah, that's the right one. So let's go ahead and then try again. So we're just going to press Shift and D. Let me zoom in all the way. Press Shift and D and then Z. And we're going to move it all the way down. Just like we were trying to do. Alright, so we're just going to make sure this vertex is right on top of this one right here. 
and we're just gonna confirm it like that. All right, now we'll go, we're going to go ahead and press Shift and R to duplicate this all the way down to there. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, very nice. So let me just take the whole thing. I just want to move it up a bit more to about somewhere there. Should be good. And right here, right here, I think we would have to duplicate this one more time. So let me take the whole pieces that we have here. I'm going to take all of them. And I'm just going to press Shift and D and move this in the x-axis. Well, first of all, let me zoom into that. Let me zoom in all the way to one, one of these uh, vertices here. And I'm going to press Shift and D and then X. And let's move this in the x-axis until it falls on it right there like that. And we're good. Let's fix that area. I don't think I did it right. So let me just press G and then X. Alright, I think it has to move up a step like this. Yeah. So I just have to move it up a step because I made a mistake right there. And then let's just fit it onto that area like that. And now we can go ahead and remove those double vertices by distance like that. Alright, very nice. Okay, so now I can take the whole thing and move it in the x-axis like we did. Like this. Hold on. Like this. And there we go. Alright. Now I can take the whole thing again, extrude it in the y-axis one more time. And then pull it inside. Not too far inside. Just like that. Now we're going to delete the faces. Alright, very nice. So let me take the whole thing, press it to N to recalculate the normals. And there we go. There we go. Alright, so uh, one more thing is left is to bend uh, this whole mesh. So what we're going to do is, let me go into edit mode. And let me just get into the front view. I think I'm going to take this mesh instead. And uh, let me take the whole vertices in the middle here. Press shift and S and say Kezo to select it. And I'm going to add in a lattice deform. So uh, lattice, like this. And let me just get onto the side view. I'm going to scale this in the Y axis all the way down. So about there, let me move it in the Y axis onto that mesh grill. This is the mesh grill right here. And I'm going to scale it up in the z-axis all the way down. I mean, I'm going to scale it down in the z-axis all the way there. And now what I'm going to do is, let me get to the front view. What I'm going to do is, in the lattice settings here, right here, I'm going to increase the resolution in setting areas. So, for example, here, we're going to increase this to about, I don't know, let's go with, I think 7 might be too much. Or maybe let's go with 8. Should be good. And I'm also going to increase it on the vertical. I mean, yeah, on the vertical, like that. So it's going to go with something like 4. Should we get? All right. Now, once we've done that, all that I'm going to do now is to take this object here and this lattice. Now I'm going to press Control p and then say Lattice Deform. So if we go ahead and then take this piece here and we try to deform it, that mesh is going to follow it very nicely. All right. So first of all, we're going to get to the top view. And I'm going to take this pieces, this vertices over here for the lattice, including this one right here and uh, we're gonna pull it first of all let me see where this is all right so I'm just gonna press G and then Y and pull it inside to about there like this and uh, I don't know how far that is but I think that is pretty good and now I'm gonna go to the top view again take the next one to it that's this one right here and we're gonna pull that out just a bit like that let me take a look down here all right it's good and I'm gonna go into the next one as well and I'm gonna pull that out to about somewhere there. I think that should be good. Yeah, yeah. And finally, we're gonna take the ones in the middle and pull them out as well, all the way to somewhere there. All right. So I think it's coming out great. Now let's get into the side view. And uh, I'm not sure how we're gonna do this side, but we can just start by rotating it and fitting it in place like that. That's the first thing we can do. And as you can see. That is looking great, very great. I'll just pull it. I don't know if we should pull it out or inside. I'm gonna pull it out a bit because I think it's closer to the edge than it goes to the inside. And I think, yeah, that's good. Let me take a look at this side as well. Yep, that's good. All right, very nice. So let me just get to the front view, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I think we need one of these objects here okay so I'm gonna press shift and D and then duplicate it like this and I'm gonna press G, G and then Y and move it out like this 
and uh, we're just gonna unparent everything from it. So Alt and P clear parent, and then we're just gonna keep the original form. I'm gonna move this to backup. I don't think we have a backup, but it just creates a new one and then call it backup. So a new collection and then add that mesh into that backup collection right there, and we can just disable that just in case we need it again. All right, so there we go. Now the next thing we're gonna do is to clean up this mesh over here and uh, keep it as it is. So I'm gonna go into edit mode. If we go into edit mode, it takes us to this mode right here. That is the original form of the mesh. And we can go ahead and then start cleaning it up. So I'm gonna take, I'm going to wireframe. I'm gonna take all of these bits. Uh, I don't think we have to take all that. So let me start from here, take all this all the way to here. And we're gonna delete those vertices very nicely. Now this area right here, I don't think we can delete them, so we're going to keep that area as it is. And uh, yeah, right here as well, we're going to delete those. Delete all these. Let's see, and yeah, so we can keep it that way. Alright, so if you take a look at the the, uh, the mesh, you can see there's actually an extra lip right here. Okay, there's an extra one in there, so we're going to have to create that as well. And let me just take this, we're just going to do that by create, taking this mesh right here. Let's take, let's take this, I don't know, yeah, this one and then that one. And uh, we're just going to press Shift and D to duplicate it. And I'm going to press P to separate the selection, but just keep it in that, that exact same place. I want to go into edit mode. Let me delete the extra one at the back, okay? And let me just have this edge over here. Now I'm going to press G and then Y and move this out just a bit to about some point like that. And let me just press F. And then I to insert, insert it just a tiny bit, not too much, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to press X and delete the faces. And I'm going to take the whole thing and extrude it in the Y axis all the way inside to about there, like that. It's about the same level. So I'm going to press X and delete the faces now. And let's press Shift and N to recalculate the normals. And then we can go ahead and add in extra supporting loops. Add one more over here. I don't know. Let me take a look. Yeah, right there. Just like that. All right. So we're gonna take that object now. Select object and select shade smooth. All right. Very nice. So uh, I think we wanna we we are going to have to pull this inside a bit. So I'm just gonna move this in the y axis. Pull it inside a bit to about there. Should be good. And there we go. All right. We have a little issue in the middle here. So let me just delete faces. I'm just going to pull it in the x-axis all the way to the center. Do the same thing here. Now let's just delete whatever we have in the middle by adding an, an extra vertex and just delete it. Alright, there we go. So uh, we have everything. Let me just take this and press M. Move that to a new collection. We're going to call it lattices. Because I feel like we're going to be creating more lattices. So if we move that into the lattice collection, then we can just disable that and then keep the bending area going on. All right, so let's go back to the original. Oh, let me just press Alt and H to bring everything back instead. And there we go. As you can see, everything is coming out great. So we're going to have to clean this up a bit more because as you can see, it's poking out way too much. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. And I might leave it up to you guys to clean it up even more. So, yeah. Now let's take a look, a look at this mesh here. I think there's too much uh, gap in between it and the one on the left. So I'm just going to go to edit mode, get to the front view, and I'm going to take that whole thing. Now I want to move it in the x-axis. I want to move it in the x-axis to about there. And I think that should cover up that area very nicely. Let me take another look. Yeah, let me just move it in the x-axis a bit more because it's intersecting. So it's about there. And yeah. That should cover it up very nicely. So we're going to do the same thing on the bottom area. So I'm going to take this whole mesh and we're going to move it in its Z axis all the way down. Oh, I forgot to take this one. So we're taking both of them. I'm going to select that whole thing and G and then Z and move it down to about there. Yeah, so I think that should be good. All right, very nice. Yeah, looking good. So all that is left is to create the uh, the grill. That's the, uh, what do you, what do they call it? The radiator behind this. I don't know if it has an actual radiator, but you can see there are some kind of uh, bars and meshes behind it. I think it does have a radiator. So 
we're gonna have to create that as well and uh, create every other thing that is in is in there so um, all right so uh, before we do that let's bring up the lattice that we deformed all right so I'm gonna bring up this lattice and I think I want to pull it out in this edges here a bit more because they're not pulling out as much as I want them to so let me first of all get to the front view and I'm gonna take that whole mesh like this and let me just get onto the side view here and I'm gonna pull it out just a bit in a y axis like that and I'm gonna take this one next pull that out as well just a bit like that pull it in a bit more take this one next pull it out just a bit I want to make it look sort of curved on the on the on that area a bit more so let me just take this pull it out a bit more and I think that should do it yeah now we're gonna take that whole thing and then move it in the y-axis like that and I think that should be good yeah definitely let me get onto the side view again I'm gonna move this one out a bit like that and then we're just gonna fit in that area a bit more so let me just move it out a bit more because I think it's still way too inside and I think that's good all right now I'm gonna take this as well let's move it out just a bit like that take that one take that one next let's pull it out a bit as well and I think that should do it all right let's hide the lattice again let's see what that looks like all right not bad looking good okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the front grill here because uh, it's taking way too long I would want this to continue but I was gonna end it here all that is left is this this piece over here and whatever is behind it and uh, some extra grill behind this as you can see there's some sort of lines behind this mesh grill here we can do that real quick but I don't want to maybe you know I'm just gonna time lapse through it so uh, we get it done I think that's the best idea so let me just time lapse through it All right, so once we're done, this is what we're going to have as the final mesh model. And as you can see, that is looking really good. And as I said, the, for the front grille, if you want to use a different kind of shape like this one, you can go ahead and do that on your own. But I'm not going to keep things, I'm not going to keep things complicated, so I'm just going to keep it as it is right now. As you can see, it's looking good as well. So uh, this is where I'm going to end the video. The rest will be done by the texturing once we get there. So we're just going to leave it as it is. 
and uh, in the next video we're gonna move on to whatever was the next on the voting list and then uh, proceed on like that so this is where I'm gonna end this video I'll see you guys in the next video